Well, two old friends of the league meet now, uh, Matty Piper, Nathan Leeson. This is an intriguing clash. Yeah, it certainly is an intriguing one now. Piper not yet won a contest in the league, but he's been in with some very experienced guys. Now, Leeson himself is very experienced. This really could be a tough one, Phil. Could be about ring rust, though. Neither of them have been in the league for a year. Let's see how they go tonight. Introducing your first fighter, standing in the blue corner, representing the Nirvana Boxing Academy, he is Matty Piper! And standing across the ring in the red corner, representing the Felix Fighting System Gym, he is Nathan Too Slick Lisa! This light middleweight contest will be fought over three two-minute rounds. Your Queensbury referee in charge of the action, Mr. Seamus Dunn. Boxers. Well, it really is a warm welcome back to these two uh, old faces from the Queensbury Boxing League. Last in action in uh, 2013, but back amongst it now. They've had injury problems, other issues away from the ring. But I'm glad to say both men back in action here tonight. And uh, for Matt Piper and Nathan Leeson, I'm sure this is a night that's been a long time coming. And Leeson with the old animal print trunks, the Superman sign on the back. He's looking to make a super start here. Well, he certainly did, landed a great left hook there, and Leeson felt the weight of that one. Leeson starting very fast here. So Piper felt the weight of that one, just getting rocked back. Oh, on his right back. hand though from Piper, so he's returning fire with fire already. We expected these two to uh, go out on the attack. Neither of them really specialises in defence, and already this is warming up into a typical Queensbury Boxing League spectacular contest. Well, we thought there was going to be fireworks, didn't we? And straight away, both guys having success here in this first round. And you feel if it continues like this, Phil, we won't hear the final bell. It's better from Leeson, just bobbing and weaving to get out of the way of uh, those Piper bombs. But he was definitely caught there in that uh, little flurry from... Piper after it was Leeson himself who made the better start to the first round so warming up nicely this one well big right hand there from Leeson Piper took that shot well but a lot of power in that and again the right hand and Piper walking onto it and Leeson growing in confidence here in this opening round getting success to the body as well yeah, Piper's got to get that guard up he really did walk on to that second right hand it was uh, no obstruction at all as Leeson came through and landed the blow flush on his chin, but Piper took it well. Yeah, Leeson just looking the more seasoned of the two here in this opening round, bobbing and weaving, growing with confidence as the round's going on, and Piper getting caught with some heavy shots here in the first round. Trying his hardest to come back, though, to his credit. Getting through with a good right hand here in the last 10 seconds. But look at the answer from Leeson. What a terrific first round that was. Don't take your eyes off this one, folks. Now, worth reminding you that Leeson is actually a former national champion, two-time British title challenger, so he does have a, a league pedigree. But um, Matty Piper still searching for his first league victory. He had his moments in that first round as well. It was uh, by no means all one way, was it? No, it certainly wasn't. Leeson, for me, winning the round, the better, more seasoned work, throwing some great shots, good right hands, good upcut, great variety of punches. But Piper had his successes as well with the right hand. Leeson carries his left hand quite low, so he's open to that right hand. Leeson doing enough to win the round, but Piper by no means out of this one. Absolutely, and uh, in Piper's defence, amongst the, uh, the fighters he's been beaten, uh, Akira Leinster, who was really one of the standout boxers in the Queensbury Boxing League, certainly last year, 2014. So he's been in with some good ones so far, so maybe his uh, first win is uh, long overdue, but uh, Leeson on his return to the ring, looks like he'll take some shifting. Oh, big uppercut from Leeson. Great shot there, just slipping down and bringing the shot up. And good head movement again from Leeson. Piper 
just punching thin air in there. And again, that uppercut working so well. Piper, too static in there at the moment. Needs to start moving that head, making it a bit more difficult for Leeson at the moment. He's very static and he's getting made to pay the price. Again, of course, it's Leeson who goes by the moniker too slick. And at the moment, he is the slicker. So he's avoiding some of the better Piper punches, whereas Piper's just getting caught a little bit too often, I'm sure, for his corner's liking at the moment. Again, you see the head movement from Leeson trying to keep out of trouble. Piper, just a little bit of a, an easier target to hit at the moment. Yeah, great work here in this second round from Leeson, really picking the shots well, showing great patience, good head movement, creating the openings and making Piper pay in there in this second round. Again, a beautiful left hook, just oozing confidence in there at the moment, Leeson. Just a little straight right from Piper, though, just to uh, keep Nathan Leeson honest, make sure he knows he's in a contest. But definitely the uh, second round going the way of the uh, Northampton man, Nathan Two slick Leeson, like I say, back in the, the Queensbury Boxing League for the first time in something like 18 months. But uh, looking good on this return. Lovely uppercut, lead uppercut is doing it again. He's just slipping down the side, picking that shot up so well. The timing is great by Leeson in there this evening. And again, good shots. Yeah, that uppercut has been the standout punch in this second round. Brought him a lot of joy. Well, another great round there from Leeson, really oozing confidence in that second round, slipping from side to side. The lead left uppercut especially was effective, getting through him some great right hands as well. Matty Piper just boxing on the outside, waiting too long to get off with his shots. He's the one that really needs to change this now, Phil. He needs to start stepping in with his shots, getting off with his shots first, because at the moment, and Nathan Leeson just boxing well within his comfort zone and boxing, boxing lovely. Yeah, you can tell all is calm in the uh, Leeson corner at the moment. There's a, a little bit more activity on the opposite side of the ring. I think they know in the Piper camp that they've really got to come up with a big third round here. Well, yeah, Piper standing up here coming out ready for this third round he knows he's got to get something big here he needs to get off with the shots if he's got any chance of winning this contest because at the moment Leeson running away with it well, he had a decent uh, amateur record is uh, Matt Piper but he's got to produce it in the league as I mentioned earlier still looking for his his first victory in front of the, uh, the cameras in the Queensbury Boxing League needs a big big third round here against Nathan Leeson, Leeson with the shaved head, bobbing and weaving, trying to keep out of trouble, avoid those bombs if he can and unload one or two of his own. It's uh, hotting up already here in the third. Yeah, Leeson staying nice and calm under pressure here, but a great start from Piper, applying the pressure, doing what he needs to do, but just can't find the range in there at the moment, Kenny. Occasionally, there's a little grin from uh, Leeson as if to try and win the psychological battle as much as the boxing battle, just to let his opponent know that he's uh, seen nothing to trouble him so far. Let's see if he goes back to that uh, uppercut. So successful for him in the second round. It was a punch that time and time again got through. Kept him in the locker for the moment. Well, we see now Piper, he started the first round, uh, the third round off with a 30 second flurry, pressing forward, doing what he needed to do. Now he's taking his foot off the gas, and Leeson starting to take over, coming forward. Need right up that lovely shot. Good head movement and great stuff from Leeson here. Again, picking the shots up. A big test of stamina for both men, though, as I mentioned. They've had their problems outside the ring, so perhaps not as razor sharp, maybe at the top of their uh, fitness as they'd like to be, but both are so keen to get back into the ring and back into Queensbury action, and they haven't disappointed tonight. It's been tremendous fair, but it's definitely Lisa who looks to be in the ascendancy as we get to the business end of the third round. Piper trying to cover up on the ropes. Yeah, starting to look in a bit of trouble here. Piper looking a little unsteady on his legs. Lots of unanswered shots from Leeson, and Leeson dominating that third round as well. And for me, dominating the contest. Take nothing away from Piper. He put up a great, great effort, trying all the time, but the time of just timing just wasn't there for Piper this evening. He was throwing the shots, couldn't find the target. Leeson 
moving the head so well and landing great shots to the head and body and for me running away from all three rounds. Well, to be fair to Nathan Lewson, in the build-up to this, he said there'd be no shorts and no shortcuts in his preparations this time. He felt last time he was in the league, sometimes didn't quite do himself justice, maybe didn't quite take it serious enough. This time he said we're going to see the real uh, Nathan Lewson, okay. and I have to say that was pretty impressive, and I think he'll only get better once to say he gets that ring sharpness back as well. He could really be one to watch in uh, in 2015. Yeah, he certainly could. Former national champion, box for the British title as well, and I think we could definitely see him back up there again and boxing for that British title. And on that performance, Bill, even winning the British title, I mean, that was great, great stuff. So educated pressure, moving the head all the time, picking the shots lovely, lead left uppercuts, lead right uppercuts. You know, looked fantastic at times. Andy Piper certainly not disgraced, but perhaps not for the first time in his Queensbury career, just coming up against the better fighter. Yeah, unfortunately for Piper, you know, he's mixed in a real high caliber of an opponent, you know, and so his record reads three losses out of three, but he's much, much better. Yet again, a fantastic bout of boxing. Show your appreciation for both fighters, please. But after three rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards and we have a unanimous decision in favour of your winner from the red corner, Nathan Two Slick Lisa. Well, we've missed him on the Queensbury Boxing League, but he is back. Nathan Leeson takes his record to 3 1 1 on the night. Too slick, too good. Well, I'm backstage here at the Alexandra Palace with Nathan Tuslick Leeson after his fantastic win against Matt Piper. Nathan, you've been out of the ring for a long, long time, but rate your performance, because for me, from ringside, it looked pretty good. Well, I was a bit sceptical of it, but um, a few people have said they liked it, and when I look back, I'll, I'll, have, a, I'll have a look, but um, I thought it was around a seven. Like, I got hit with a few silly shots, but it was all right. Yeah. I mean, watching it from ringside, you know, you're hitting some lovely combinations. The uppercut in all three rounds, you know, you couldn't miss him with that. And to be fair to Matt Piper, though, he did come back and he was catching you with some jabs, a couple of lovely right hands in the second round. As the fight progressed, I mean, you looked like you were more confident. How, how did you feel in there after being out for so long? Well, first round, I felt a bit rusty, but then everything came together. And Matt Piper, I have to give it to him, is a very tough character. Very tough. Um, caught him with some very clean shots. He took them well and also gave me some good shots as well. So, yeah. Going away from that now, you know, your first fight back for a long, long time, training camp, eager to get back in there, I know. What are the plans? What do you now want to achieve? Now that you're back in the league and you're taking the sport more seriously, what, what's next for Nathan? Whatever you lot decide. I'll do whatever you lot want me to do. I'm not going to go out there and check be a Gareth chaser. You know, we'll take it slowly and build from that, build mm. some foundations and I'll be a champion again. Mm. So. You mentioned there Gareth, Gareth Gardner, obviously the British middleweight and light middleweight champion, but there's a lot of other operators. There's even talk of you going back down to welterweight where there's yeah. some sort of class fighters like O'Shane Clark. Uh, yeah. it's, there's a lot of fighters out there for you to face. We're in the league now, there's a lot of quality about you, you can't really run or hide from anyone. There's quality in every, in every weight now. So, yeah, I, I like a challenge. I want to see where I'm at. And I'm, I'm not really bound to fight one person. I'm, I'll fight anybody. I'm not bothered. Whatever you lot decide, that's where I'm at. So... Well, it was a great performance here at the Alexandra Palace to see you back in the league. Congratulations, Nathan, and we look forward to seeing you in the league a little bit later this season. All right, thank you, and take care. Thanks, Nathan. Thank